Imagine turning your Twitter profile into a client magnet that works 24 seven, attracting leads while you sleep. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that with my eight step framework. And this eight step framework is what I've used to grow my total Twitter following from zero followers to over 262,000 followers and generating hundreds of thousands of dollars from Twitter alone just last year, because you can create the best content in the world. But if your Twitter profile isn't optimized, you're going to miss out on on thousands of followers, thousands of dollars worth of high paying clients, and potentially opportunities from Nigerian princes hitting you up about once in a lifetime opportunities. And if you stick around until the end of this video, I got a little something special to give you. So these eight steps will be ranked from the least important to the most important for optimizing your Twitter profile for clients. Now, the first step to optimizing your Twitter profile for more clients is a small change, but can be an easy way to show your value to new people viewing your Twitter profile. And this is your Twitter banner. Your banner is like the billboard for your brand. It's a chance to advertise who you are, what you do, and why people should trust you. For example, if you look at my friend Rob Hoffman's banner, within three seconds, you can clearly see what he offers, SEO, the benefit, growing your sales, and his credibility. He was featured in Forbes and Inc. Magazine and worked with companies like Beehive, Shopify, and RBC. So anyone who is interested in the topic of SEO will be more likely to become a follower and potentially a client. Now, when you create your Twitter banner, you need to keep in mind that most people will view your profile on their small phone screen. So here are four tips for optimizing the design of your Twitter banner for more clients and followers. So number one is simplicity. Too much text and images will make your banner hard to read. So you want to keep it simple and clear. I recommend one short sentence that clearly shows what you do and the benefit of following you. Number two is sizing. So the size of your Twitter banners text should be easy to read on a mobile device. So once your banner is made, double check the sizing on your phone. The third is color. So don't use more than two to three colors for your banner. Too many colors will just look goofy and confusing. So use a website like coolers.co to generate good color pairings that look good and the site is completely free. And I recommend picking black, white, and a color that contrasts well with both of those. Which brings me to the next tip, which is contrast. So if your Twitter's banner text and background are too similar in color, it's going to be hard to read for people. So make sure there is enough contrast between the two so that your text pops. So when it comes to making your Twitter banner, you have two options. Option one, make it yourself so you can use free softwares like Figma or Canva to easily create a banner within minutes. And if you don't know how to use it, just search it up on YouTube for free. And then there's option two. So you can find a professional designer on fiverr.com to make you a sexy looking banner. And there are solid designers charging anywhere between $20 to $150 for a custom Twitter banner. Now your banner is something that's likely going to change many times over the course of your social media journey. Journey. But this next part of your Twitter profile is something you can't change too often or you're going to screw your account up. And it's important that you get this right. So the second step to optimizing your Twitter profile for more clients is to pick a username. Your username is your at that people look up to find you on Twitter. So if you have a hard to spell or complicated username, it's going to be hard for people to find you, resulting in fewer clients and fewer followers. As well, if your username has a bunch of numbers in it or underscores like Mikey69420 underscore underscore, you're going to look unprofessional and you're going to turn off a lot of potential clients. So when picking your username, just keep it simple. Use your first and your last name. If your first and last name is too long or it's taken by somebody else, then you can combine a word with your name. For example, at the Danco, at Hey Dakota, at Bob Talks. Now, if you go the anonymous route, use simple words related to what you talk about and bonus points if you use alliteration. For example, when I started my Twitter account, I mainly talked about writing, so I made my username at wrongs to right. But what's arguably more important than your username is this next step for optimizing your Twitter profile. And this part has a direct correlation to your status on Twitter, because like it or not, 
Whether it's business, social media, or trying to attract a five foot two Latina on Tinder, your status plays a huge part in your results. So the third step in optimizing your Twitter profile for clients is to adjust your follower to following ratio. For example, a Twitter account with 10,000 followers who follows 200 people signals a higher status than a Twitter account with 100 followers who follows 5,000 people. It's like supply and demand. The more demand, aka followers, and the less supply, aka people who follow you, the more valuable you are perceived. Take a look at this example. Although the Twitter account on the top has 9,000 more followers, the account underneath looks more valuable because of how the follower to following ratio is framed. Now look at this example. This person follows more people than people who follow them, implying this person has less influence, therefore hurting the chances that others will follow them on Twitter. So as a general rule of thumb, I recommend having a follower ratio of one to 100. So for every person you follow on Twitter, you want to have at least 100 plus followers. So if I follow 500 people, I should have a following of 50,000 people. The exception to this rule is if you're starting out because you'll need to make friends with other creators to grow. So you'll need to follow more people. So I would just cap it at 100 to 200 people at the start. What's even more important and more powerful for follower conversions is this next part of your Twitter profile. When you do this right, you will not only attract more followers, but you'll have a higher chance of converting people to clients. So the fourth step on how to optimize your Twitter profile for more clients is to create a pinned post. A pinned post is the first post a person sees when they visit your profile. Holy sh there's a lot of P's, but you don't want to create just any pinned post. To increase the chances of converting people to clients, you want to create a case study of a client. This case study should show how you help solve a pain point or achieve a desired outcome for your target audience. Think of it like an advertisement of your services to every person that checks out your profile. For example, when I launched my ghostwriting cohort, I made a post breaking down how I helped a client go from a college professor making 42K a year to making 40K a month with ghostwriting. And I broke down each step to get to that transformation and I showed proof. Then at the end of that thread, I made a call to action telling people to apply for my program if they wanted the same result. And this resulted in me closing around 43 qualified high ticket leads in just one month. Because when you give value by showing how you got real results for yourself or for a client, you position yourself as an authority. And when people see you as an authority, you become the obvious person to buy from. So if you'd like me to make a video in the future showing you how to make engagement engaging Twitter threads that gets clients and followers, then leave a comment below and I will show you my process in a future video. Now, before I get to the final four steps and the most important steps to optimizing your Twitter profile for clients, if you are a creator, a coach, or a business owner who wants to grow and monetize your social media, subscribe to my YouTube. I drop free videos showing you strategies I've used to grow to 500K followers across all social media platforms for my personal brand. And unlike many of the gurus teaching social media, media on YouTube. I've actually gotten results for myself and my clients. So if you don't subscribe, no worries. I just hope your business fails and you have to resort to selling feet pics to strangers to get by. So the fifth step to optimizing your Twitter profile for more clients is to give people a reason to visit your profile in the first place. And no, I'm not referring to telling people you have an OnlyFans link in your bio. I'm talking about your actual Twitter bio. Your bio is an elevator pitch on why people should follow you or buy from you. And you only have a few seconds to convince people. And so many people get this wrong because they put irrelevant information in their bio. I'm sorry, but nobody cares if your favorite food is pickles and you love rainbows and sunshine. People only want to know one thing when they visit your profile what's in it for them. So you need three things in your Twitter bio to optimize for clients and followers. Your bio should say who you help, what you post about, and any social proof that gives you credibility. And optionally, you can have a call to action to a lead magnet, a newsletter, or directly to your offer. But having these in your bio gives potential clients and followers a clear understanding of who you are and how you can help them. If it's relevant to them, they are going to convert to followers and clients. But to get people's attention in the first place, one of the biggest factors is this next part of your profile. And if you get this right, 
you will pre-frame how people view your Twitter content and your personal brand. So the sixth part to optimizing your Twitter profile for clients is to use a quality profile picture. This is one of the most important parts of your profile because people recognize faces much better than names. And we want to build as much recognition as possible because the more people become familiar with you and your content, the more they tend to like you. And the liking equals followers and clients. So to emphasize my point, I'll give you an example. My friend Aaron Will, he grew his following to around 100K followers on Twitter a few years ago. And at that point, he decided to change his profile picture. But when he did this, he saw a huge drop in engagement and even mass unfollows. So why is that? Because people didn't recognize him on the timeline. They thought he was someone else. So all that trust he built with his brand was gone. And it got so bad that he switched back to his old profile picture after a couple of weeks. And this is why it's crucial for you to create a strong profile picture early on and stick to it for as long as possible because changing it can damage your engagement a ton. So to make sure you get this right, here are two key aspects of a great profile picture. Number one is faces. You want to flaunt your beautiful, beautiful face. So to optimize your Twitter profile, you want to use your actual face in your profile picture because studies show faces increase trust and relatability. And yes, even you ugly people, it does the same. So most people are also on their phone when they're on social media. So it's also harder for your profile picture to be seen if it's not a headshot. So ideally you want a picture of your chest upward and shows clearly your face. And don't be afraid to smile, gentlemen. You don't have to look so serious all the time. Now, the second element of your profile picture that you want to include is quality. And this is crucial because of the psychological bias called the halo effect. The halo effect is when people transfer their feelings about one attribute, i.e. your profile picture to other unrelated attributes, i.e. your content. So by having a quality profile picture, you positively influence how people see the quality of your content. So use a DSLR camera, hire a professional photographer, or take a picture with a phone with a solid camera. This is literally the face of your brand, so it's important you invest into it. But it's also important that you invest into the seventh step of optimizing your Twitter profile, because this is the part that will likely be the thing that converts the highest amount of clients. It uses one of the most powerful psychological human principles, social proof. It's like sitting at the lunch table with all the popular kids in high school. Just by associating yourself with the others with credibility and popularity, you gain a ton of credibility and popularity. The equivalent of this on Twitter is how many big or credible accounts follow you. Because when credible accounts follow you, it's like an endorsement. For example, out of the two accounts on the screen, which one are you more likely to follow? The account with nobody you know following them or the account with 353 people you know following them. So by having a bunch of credible accounts following you, you instantly gain authority and credibility. The question is, how do you get these big accounts to follow you? Put simply, don't be like that one weird kid in high school who wore a fedora and reeked of BO. Just be human. Make a list of the top authorities in your niche that you vibe with and then make it a habit to comment under their content on a regular basis. And don't just rephrase what their posts say. Add value by adding a personal story to what their post talks about, state your opinion, or even joke around with them. Once the person starts to recognize you and engages back with some of your comments, start a chat in the DM. Don't ask for anything, just have some social intelligence and talk to them like you would a friend. And finally, the most important part of optimizing your profile is a little bit controversial, but it's 100% necessary if you want to grow your following and attract clients on Twitter. Because if you don't have this thing, then your content's reach will dramatically be reduced and your status will be lower than others who do have this one thing. So the eighth and final step to optimizing your Twitter profile for clients is to pay for Twitter premium. Because if you look at the official Twitter website, it states that you get a blue check mark when you pay for Twitter premium, which elevates your status. And then you also get reply prioritization, which increases your account visibility in the comments. As well, in Twitter's open source algorithm code, you can see that users who don't have premium get a dramatic reduction in their content's reach. So if you're serious about growing on Twitter, it's essential that you pay for premium. But more importantly, if you're serious about growing your personal brand on social media to separate yourself from your competitors and attracting 
clients, then click the link in the description. I made a 100% free course with zero fluff that shares my seven step system I use to grow my personal brand to over 500K followers across all the platforms and generating seven figures at 80% profit margin. And I'm not lying when I say it's better than all of the gurus 997 course. So with that being said, I hope you have a kick-ass day. Enjoy and I will see you on the next one.